Hello, this is Jimmy Two Step. I'm at the workshop today and I'm continuing work on my Rocketeer Rocket Pack kit. This is how far I've gotten so far. Uh, it's a big kit, there's a lot of parts. Um, this is my workstation. It's, it's a mess, of course, but uh, this is what I'm working with. A lot of little parts that I have to clean up yet. Uh, some vents, little tiny pieces, which I should not lose. Got my DVD player to keep me company. And here's the kit. I uh, didn't get any footage of what it looked like before, but this whole section was cut out. All this here was cut out. I still have to do some sanding and some cleaning up of the edges. Uh, the radiator vent piece, which is here, is going to fit in here. If I can get it in. Something like that. Got to do a little bit more sanding to get it to fit in there just right. Don't want to break anything. Uh, this vent here was all cut out. I was a little nervous about that because you just you don't want to cut too much to cut off these pieces here. So I used a Dremel attachment. Uh, it's called a high speed cutting tool for plastic. And I had to go in there very slowly and I did mark it with pencils. So you can see some of the pencil marks. I still have to sand in and clean up the edges, but I'm really happy that I didn't break any of those pieces off when I cut those out. So those little end pieces in there are gonna have to be trimmed and I'm gonna go in there with a sanding stick and clean that up. Uh, these holes here were also cut out. Um, I did clean those up somewhat, they just need a little bit more. And then these holes here were also cut out. Um, cut a little bit too much off there, but that's all right, it's gonna be covered by the uh, ends of the vents. And I cleaned those up pretty good. It was really thick here, so I had to take my Dremel and get in there and thin it out so it was the perfect width here. So all four of those were cut out. That was a nice pain in the butt. And then this hole here in the bottom was cut out for another vent piece. Um, down here, there was a lot of plastic coming down here that I had to cut out and shape all in here and that took a couple hours worth of work just to get it nice and smooth and inside there's a lot of junk in there that I gotta really sand out I don't know if you can see that too well um, that's from the way it was cast I believe this was cast by a method called slush casting not sure how it's done uh, don't really care because I'm just building it I'm not making the damn thing uh, Here's the engine piece. I'm starting with the engines. This one's raw. I haven't done any sanding on it yet. I haven't cut that out. I haven't glued any pieces on yet. Uh, these fit into the bottom of the housing. Here's one that I have started to glue some of the pieces on. I had to tape these off because there's going to be these hoses attached into those pieces there. Uh, did a primer coat, and the primer coat is very revealing because it shows you any areas that you might need to re-sand. Like I cut the bottom out here, but there's still some parts. Like there, it's a little, little raw. So I'm gonna go putty that and re-sand it down so it's nice and smooth. And uh, some of these parts will be painted like, I don't know, maybe these little end pieces here. I might paint copper or brass. Uh, I might paint some of the details up in here silver. Most of this stuff you're not going to see because it's going to be hidden inside of the housing. You'll be able to see it through the vents when I glue those in, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. But this is going to be painted in a flat black. I bought this. A tire and bumper paint. I don't know. I'm going to test it out. But they're going to be painted black and then they fit into the bottom of the kit. So today I'm just going to finish working on this, sand it down, clean it up. Uh, maybe I'll even get the paint it black today, see what it looks like. And then I'm also going to start working on this piece here uh, so they match. So that's where I'm at with this kit so far. It's a really big kit. Um, the size of it can kind of get you a little leery, but it's actually kind of simple because there's not a whole lot to it compared to some other model kits I've built.